That's what makes it a little bit sexy. That's what makes it sort of smell a little bit like your skin, but better. The Heliotrope Coconut Solar Note combination is really endearing. I wore it, you guys, because it was the only perfume I had. Oh. Hey guys welcome back to the channel it's charlotte thank you so much for being here with me today i have another haul for you guys i have another haul for you guys do you like hauls i just want to know because every time i feel very very i was gonna say mitigi i feel a very conflicted okay because i don't want to contribute needlessly to overconsumption and i suppose uh the fear of missing out that we can all fall into but at the same time, I know I really enjoy watching these videos because they really actually also help me get to know what is worth it and what's not worth it. And I don't want to be a hypocrite either. Like, I do buy perfumes, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't want you to feel like you have to go out and buy and try every single fragrance out there. That's not my goal. I want you guys to only get the fragrances that are right for you and for most people they have a very specific preference and style of fragrance i am going to be bringing in new perfumes and that's actually part of the reason that i'm probably gonna have to do a declutter because i am not a minimalist and i'm not a declutterer but just because of the logistics of it i felt like i had to talk about that but anyway i have more i have more hauls coming too so you know and i'm gonna try to balance out these hauls i'm gonna do a sort of sort of like uh low buy no buy sort of what i'm not buying kind of thing because um i want to balance out the hauls with the low buy support sort of videos too let me know if you're interested in that too because i'm taking a little bit of a risk there i don't know if you're interested in that but let's get into the haul so this is a winner's haul collective winner's haul so i didn't buy these all the first time but like over several trips and they're all from TJ Maxx or Winners or Marshalls, whatever you want to call it. They're all the same conglomerate, the same company. So I got a few of these I want to share with you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven fragrances. The first two that I want to show you, first of all, they were $10. They're Adidas, okay? They're Adidas. Adidas, Adidas Unleash for her and Adidas Charge for him, okay? And I have a bias towards adidas as in like i don't even look at them partly because the very very first fragrance that i ever wore was by adidas and it was gifted to me very lovingly by my mother and i was very appreciative of it but it definitely wasn't the kind of scent profile that is me but i wore it you guys because it was the only perfume i had that was mine so i wore it to death i wore it until i had none left and it is a very fresh invigorating sort of freshy scent you know not me uh, I think it was called Moves or Move for her. This was like the year 2001, by the way. Yeah. Um, anyway, this here is Unleash. And I thought it would be fun because it has a fruity top note. I forget if it's lychee or it's something tropical. It also has surprisingly chocolate in the base. And it's classified as a floral fruity gourmand. So I was like, okay, what's the harm? 10 bucks. You got it. Oh, damn. Y'all, I got it right. In I do not know how to do this properly. I got that in my eye. Oh, okay. You guys. This is really nice, but it's like a glorified body spray, right? So, like, when I wore this, I went ch -ch 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 like this all over. And I don't think I could smell it like an hour or two later. So that's why I'm like, to me it's not a floral fruity gourmand, you know? And I definitely don't get any chocolate. Oh, it's mango, isn't it? Yeah, it's mango. I definitely get the mango though, and that's why I got it. Cause I was like, oh, I don't have any mango scents, and that's so like nice and refreshing. Yeah, really nice and refreshing for summer. I think for ten dollars for a hundred ml bottle, I think it's a hundred ml. <laughs> like, why not for the summer? It's really nice and refreshing. There's definitely some like muskiness and maybe some like woods in there that add a little bit of complexity and to it. You know, just enough for it to smell a little bit sexy i don't know for me it can't just be fruity it has to have a little bit of musks or woods that's what makes it a little bit sexy that's what makes it sort of smell a little bit like your skin but better for the men's version we have charge forget what's in this let's see Ooh. okay that has some greenness in it but it also has some sweet fruitiness what is that wait 
Yeah, it has some grapefruit, some green apple, some salt. This one's really pretty. I would actually... That's really nice and refreshing too. I would wear that too. Both of these I would like are really nice, like refreshing, super hot day scents. Like, I don't know what the lasting power is like. I might have to try these a little bit more officially, you know, to see because I'm actually surprised by how much I really like the men's version too. So we'll have to see. I do not necessarily care for the bottles that much, but they are very practical. I don't know. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, next we have gold sugar, which I have already talked about in my coconuts video. Oh, this bottle, you guys. But uh, this is that very, very milky look tonic gourmand coconut. With a little bit of citrus. Definitely a little bit like plasticky in there, you know, but. paper again I think that this would be nice in the summer because it's so light but it's still very very sweet look tonic gourmand I don't know how I feel about this but I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this we're gonna see a self experiment with it and I definitely think it's more of a layering scent for me but there you go it was very cheap I think I don't remember how much it was but it was definitely under $30 yeah yummy yummy like creamy gourmand milky coconut and by milky like not milky as in like it's milky because it's coconut but milky as in like there's milk with the coconut like there's dairy next up we have burberry eau de toilette i think yeah and this is a very like iconic sort of classic solid designer fragrance maybe that i've just never known i've never smelled and i've never been into but I found it at a really good price. It had one of those little red stickers. And I saw that it had like candied almonds and stuff. And this one I sprayed it right away. Both me and my boyfriend both thought it was really, really pretty and nice. And this is a very like sweet, soapy sort of almond to me. A soapy almond with some lime. That's, you guys, yeah, I love, I love lime. I think it's one of my favorite citrus notes not only lime it also has pear and lemongrass so there's something very refreshing about it while still having a sort of heavy ish base sweet citrus almond in like a weird sort of soapy almond to me um yeah it's really pretty safe work appropriate sort of scent to me I look forward to trying it out some more. Next up, I was so excited, you guys, when I saw this, cause this just came out and it was so cheap. I had to get it. And this is by Rachel Zoe or Rachel Zoe. I don't know um, how she says it. And it's called, and she came out with its new line and there's four different ones. All of them have a different like quality. Like this one is empowered. What are the other ones? Yeah, there's warrior, fearless, and instinct and this is empowered and this is a sweet floral coconut vanilla coconut this one has solar notes in the top and it really has that solar note feel to it so it really does have you feeling like you're on a bright sunshiny kind of day with a very milky creamy look tonic coconut a little bit of florals it's a very light scent I don't imagine this has great lasting power or anything like that but it seems to be a quite a sweet easy sort of grab for the summertime and I look forward to testing it out a little bit more in more detail so we will see I'd love to know if you've picked this up or seen it I think I've noticed other people in the comments and the reviews on Fragrantica, like other people have found it in their winners or whatever, their TJ Maxx. So it is making the rounds. I don't know if the other ones are there too, but I just found this one and they're really cheap. I think this was $25, $30 Canadian. I don't know, something like that. It has some heliotrope in it in here that definitely gives it that powdery almond sort of feeling to it the heliotrope coconut solar note combination is really is really endearing 
This is Empowered by Rachel Zoe, or Zoe. <laughs> and then the last two, we have Goldea, the Roman Knight Absolute. And what is, is this Bulgari? I don't even know. But anyway, this is a very earthy, powdery, white floral. Very kind of dark and sultry and a little bit animalic. Definitely one that I think can go off on some people's skin. Definitely more serious, a little bit more mature. One that I would honestly probably wear more in the fall. So I look forward to trying it out in the fall. This is one that, that opens up with plum and I am not the biggest plum fan, you guys. So I was aware of that when I got this and I mainly got it for the white floral vanilla aspect to it and the oak moss. And I wanted to see what that would be with the patchouli and the oak moss. And I kind of accepted that I might not love the plum. And that is the case. I don't love the plum, but the dry down is a little bit nicer for me. It is a little bit more earthy than I would like, a little bit more mossy than I would that I would typically go for, but it's not too earthy. And I do want to try it out a little bit more in cooler weather. Personally, I would like to try this out in transitional fall weather. That's when I think this will be really nice. I'd love to know if you know of this one, what your thoughts are about it. I would love to know. And then last, but certainly not least, this was, I think my, this was like the best find because I was not expecting to find this at all. I think this is relatively new too. And it was an amazing like coffret that came with another little mini and that I gave as a gift to my sister. And now we have matching perfumes and I love it. This is Rebecca Minkoff's, Rebecca Minkoff's, Rebecca Minkoff's. <laughs> and this is a mm, sweet, warm, spicy vanilla tobacco perfect for the fall again like perfect for the fall so yeah this is a tobacco sweet vanilla scent this also has a lot of leather in it and labdanum which can have leathery nuances so if you don't like leather this is not for you i can detect it right away the cardamom the leather warm spicy this is a dark sexy sort of fragrance ambery vanilla spicy but still very wearable, like not too spicy, not too much leather or tobacco. I think in the listing it says it resembles amethyst a little bit, which some people say, yeah, some people said it was like amethyst, which I would say, um, I see the resemblance, but no, not quite. Amethyst is a little bit sweeter, a little bit more smooth, and yeah, this one's a little bit more spicy. A little bit more leathery the other one I don't think has leather yeah more spicy leathery unique bottle too I guess uh, oh that's so cute and I guess this top here is like supposed to imitate leather sort of this also has amyl salicylate which I think is supposed to have like a uh, green unripe banana sort of scent Anyway, Rebecca Minkoff, I'm very excited to wear this in the fall to test it out. My sister loves it. She says she's obsessed with it and that she's been wearing it every day since I got it for her. Yes, in the summer she's wearing it. I used to do that too. When I would have perfume, I would just wear it whenever. And now I'm like, hmm, maybe that's why I didn't like that one at that time because I was wearing it in the wrong weather and vice versa. But yeah, to me, this is definitely a fall scent i will be wearing the hell out of her come fall at least trying her out and see how i like her so thank you so much thank you so much for being here with me today i hope that you enjoyed that i hope that it was fun for you i hope that it answered some questions that you might have had about some of these fragrances i would love to know what your opinion is on some of these fragrances if you've smelled them before if you were interested in them all of that 
as always thank you so much for watching thank you for liking subscribing ring the notification bell if you haven't already again because that way you definitely won't miss any of my videos and until next time until we see each other again thank you so much for watching also if you've not already followed me on instagram i would love it if you'd go follow me on instagram i am at charlotte with an e that is a three ross yeah at that is my my screen name anyway until we see each other again please take care of yourself i'll see you very soon bye